In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth had no shape and was empty. Darkness covered the earth and God moved over the water. And God said, Let there be light. I will call the light day and I will call the dark night. Now let the water below and the water above be separated. I will call the space sky. Let the waters below the sky all be gathered in one place and let dry land appear. I will call the dry land earth. Now let the land produce all kinds of plants and trees. God was very happy with the work he had done so far but he still had a lot more work to do. I will make the sun and moon and stars in the sky. They will separate the day from the night to show the seasons and also light the night sky. Let the waters be filled with living creatures. And let the herds fly across the earth. On the sixth day, God made all the animals. Let the land produce every kind of living animal. There will be domestic and wild animals both large and small, and each will be able to reproduce its kind. Let us make people. They will be in our image, just like us. Then God made a human being, a man who was like himself. God put the man in charge of all the fish and birds and animals he had made. Let the people rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, and the animals on the land, and all creatures that move on the ground. Finally, God finished his work. He was very happy. So on the seventh day, he had a rest. I think so. You're the maker of everything. Come with me, Adam. There are things we have to do and things I want to show you. You are in charge of all the animals and plants. They are for you to look after. You are free to eat from any tree in the garden. 
but you cannot eat from the tree that gives knowledge of what is good and what is evil. If you eat this fruit, you will die. Huh? Adam, what will you call this one? Lion. I'll call him Lion. These animals are yours to look after. You must name them all. Adam, you have done well. But now every male animal has a female mate except you. It is not good for you to live alone. So I will make a female partner for you. Go to sleep. And when you wake up, you too will have a female partner. While Adam was asleep, God took a rib from his side and made him a female partner. My female partner has been taken from my own flesh and bone. I will call her woman because she was taken out of man. We may eat the fruit of any tree except this one. God said that if we eat its fruit, we will Ooh. die. But when Adam was away, Satan decided to approach Eve to tempt her. What about that tree? The fruit over there looks very tasty. God said that we cannot eat from that tree or even touch it. He said that we can eat the fruit of any tree in the garden except that one. If we do eat from that tree, we will die. <laughs> Did God say that? You will not die. God knows that when you eat from the fruit of that tree, you will be just like him. Your eyes will be opened. And you will know the difference between good and evil. And Satan who appeared in front of Eve started tempting her slowly and slowly. He lured her to the tree and was about to tempt her to eat it. God said no. That is because God does not want you to be the same as him. The fruit will do that. It will make you great and powerful just like him. Woman, where are you? Eve gave the fruit to Adam and when Adam ate the fruit, he committed the sin too. Uh oh! Once they ate the fruit, they realized they were naked. Oh. They covered their body with leaves. Adam, where are you? I'm here, I'm here. I heard you in the garden. I'm hiding here because I'm naked. 
Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Well, woman gave me some of the fruit to eat. Uh, and I ate it. Woman, what have you done? The serpent tricked me into eating the fruit. You will be punished and cursed for tricking man and woman. You will crawl on your belly and eat dust forever. You will be the lowest among the animals. You and people will be enemies forever. Woman, giving birth to children will be more painful because of what you have done. Your husband will also rule over you. Adam, I'm most disappointed with you. You listen to the woman instead of me. I commanded that you do not eat fruit from that tree, but you did. You will have to work hard all your life to produce enough food for your family. Thorns and weeds will grow in the fields, and only sweat and painful work will you produce food for your family. Finally, you die and return to the ground you came from. You came from the dust, and to the dust you will return. Woman, I will name you Eve, because you will be the mother of all people. The people have become like us, with the knowledge of everything that is good and evil. They cannot eat from the tree of life and live forever. I will send them away from the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve were clothed by God and shut out of the bliss and glory of paradise to live in the wilderness. God decided to guard both the entrance to the garden and the way to the tree of life. So he commanded Cherubim to guard the entrance and a flaming sword that turns this way and that to the way of the tree of life. <laughs>